In this short video clip, I'm going to show you how to remove stitches behind lettering that you want to put on top of a filled area. The first thing that you want to do is make your filled area. The second thing is to use a true type font letter. So I'm going to click on that tool to open up the import true type font artwork box and I'm just going to type in the letter T and I'm going to leave it at Arial. You can use any uh, font that you like. Now when I brought it in, you can see that it's very small right here. So and it's also red. I can enlarge it and I can move it around, put it wherever I want it to be, but I want it to be a color that I can see better. So I'm going to turn it yellow. The trick to getting the hole behind the T in the red part is to select the area you want the hole in. And then you come over here and you click on the Shape Reform Tool flyout and you select the last tool on the flyout. That's the Add Hole tool. Then you come over here and you trace around the outer edge of your letter. I'm just left clicking here all the way around and I'm not being real careful. And when you get to the end, I want to close up this hole using the close shape. So I click on that. It's closed up. Then you move your cursor out here and you double right click on the workspace to apply the hole. When it's done, I'll show you where the hole is. Okay, now if I get my select tool and I select this red piece in the back, move it off to the side, it'll have a hole in it. See, there's your hole. So that's how you do it. Just remember that you need to select the area that you want the hole in, not the artwork you're making the hole with.